guys, so currently on at the National in their Littleton Theatre, they are showing The Deep Blue Sea by Lauren, no, Terence Rattigan. I, why do I keep wanting to say Lawrence? I know it's Terence, it even says it right here on this. Um, but yeah, by Terence Rattigan. Um, it's a play about a woman who, in, as the play opens, she's attempting to commit suicide. So, you know, really happy, jolly play, really. Um, and yeah, it just follows all these people, some she doesn't know that well, some older people from her life, some people who are new in her recent life. Uh, all like they all start to get involved in different ways and it just follows her she doesn't really attempt to try and put her life back together but it attempts her life unfolding after that decision um yeah uh, yeah where do I begin where do I begin with this because there are things I really loved about this performance but I just didn't feel as into it as most national productions Anyone who knows me knows how much I love the National Theatre. I will go there as much as I can. I just love being there and usually I really, really feel into their productions. It's probably only the second time that I haven't, and in fact it's the second time this year that I haven't, but I knew I wouldn't with the first play that I wasn't blown away by. Um, this one I didn't know anything about beforehand, so I kind of went in blind and I just wasn't overly blown away by it. Um, there were things that I did really love that I'll go into in my review, but yeah, when it comes to usually when I end my future reviews, I'm like, yeah, I'd recommend this to everyone because I loved it so much, but I just, I don't really know who I'd recommend this to, so I might just skip that at the end, just because it's difficult. I, I don't really, I can't put my finger on why I wasn't into it. If you've seen Deep Blue Sea at the National, maybe give me a comment or a tweet, tell me what you thought because I'd be really interested to know whether this is something that transferred onto other people or whether it was just me, whether it was maybe that night I was a bit tired, didn't really feel into it. There were some women that were talking next to me throughout the first act, maybe that affected how I viewed the play. I don't know because usually I really really love national performances but with this one there's something about it I just didn't overly love but I'll go into the things that I did because I just can't put my finger on what I didn't so anyway yeah the set the set was incredible and I think this is how you can tell I wasn't overly blown away by it because the set's not usually something I pick up on in plays I'll mention it briefly in my reviews but it's not usually the thing that I'm like yes wow uh, but with this I loved the set so they created the flat complex that the whole play is set in but other than the front room of Hester who is the main character all the rooms were covered with a gauze which meant that your attention mainly was drawn to the front room because it was the only thing you could distinctly see but then they'd draw your attention to the other rooms by shining a light on them this not only drew your attention to it but it also it revealed all the details of the room not couldn't reveal the details as much as it could in the front room but it just it was a way of showing this is a different room and this is what's in it but you didn't have to look at it the whole time so I really loved that I thought it was really clever this production is from the same creative team as Medea that was on at the National two years ago last year I don't remember but it's from the same creative team and um, they did think similar in Medea if anyone went to see that they had a top layer of the stage that was covered with gauze. They didn't use it as much as they did in this production, but it was obviously something they saw when, oh, that worked really well in Madeira and would transfer really well into this play because that's what happened. I just really loved that. The other thing about the set I really loved, so obviously the title of the play is The Deep Blue Sea, and the whole stage had this really, um, it wasn't like a bright blue. It was like a kind of tint, tinted blue hue to the whole stage it was kind of um not overly dark either but it was just dim and grim it, the the storyline isn't that happy and it kind of it reflected that but also had a nice little nod to the title so i i liked the blue hue as well 
Um, the acting overall from the cast was really good. I liked it, and especially to Helen McCrory, who played Hester, the main character. She was just so suited to this role. She, um, so Hester, in front of the characters like her neighbours that she doesn't know all that well, she tries to put on this really strong, brave character, and then later on she'll just completely break down and show how vulnerable she is and Helen McCrory just did this so well she showed the contrasts really well and just made it really believable these contrasts rather than having two extreme different sides of character she had it just really well and I really loved it I love Helen McCrory she was my dear and she suited that and she suited Hester it was just really good yeah Helen McCrory <laughs> Yeah, I really, really loved her performance in this production, if you can't tell. So yeah, that was my review of Deep Blue Sea. I feel like the people who maybe I would recommend it to is A, people that just like being national like me, who try and get as many national perform national theatre performances in, in as possible, because I just like to see what they have on. And also people that are into set design, because I feel like the set design in this was really clever, and if maybe you want, that's what you want to go into and you want to see something. That's, it was really naturalistic, but it was also really different. I feel like you should go and see it and check out how they used that, because it was really good. So yeah, if you liked this review, give it a thumbs up. Like I said earlier, if you've seen The Deep Blue Sea, give me a comment or tweet me at Just Gem Books. Oh yeah, little plug. Uh, talking of which, check out my social network links, they'll be in the description as usual. Share this video with your friends so everyone can see it, and most importantly, if you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe. Bye!